So welcome back to the channel and today's uh, tutorial is going to be on some basic lighting uh, just tips in general on how to make your render just pop and make it look amazing so here I'm using it um, our free blender lighting setup um, it's not up on the new website yet but it will be soon so stay tuned for that so first things first I have a rig and a camera object if you don't know how to add a camera you want to hit shift a Right, you want to go to camera once you add a camera to make to position the camera into your current view right let's say you want over here um, over here what you want to do is you want to hit control alt and number pad zero and as you can see it will locate the camera to your current uh, view position but I'm going to remove this camera I'm going to use this one all right so um, here is our rig we're going to go into render mode just like that and this is what we have so far all right so this right here is let me change the pose actually it's kind of bothering me um, let's go for something like this Look back all right let's fix this as well it's really annoying better there we go I'm just going to fix the legs all right that is a lot better and this right here is the basic uh, daytime lighting and I will explain how I did all this so if I take the Sun and the general lighting objects off the lighting right here is a this is an HDRI. So if you look up free HDRIs, you could get an HDRI. And what you want to do is you want to go to your environment world properties over here. You want to click on this little circle and you want to click on environment texture. Once you do that, you want to hit uh, open. And from here, you can select any HDRI you want. So right now I'm using studio. Uh, if I change the courtyard, you can see the lighting changes as well. Uh, this actually does not look too bad. Uh, we'll go interior now now here's also a fun thing you could do if you go over to up here you go to shader editor all right and we change from object to world here is our interior all right and go to edit go to preferences and over here in add-ons you want to look for Wrangler and you want to have this enabled so now what you could do is you could click on this uh, the extra image and you could go control T to bring up the mapping nodes and from here you could rotate the extra I so if we go back uh, let's make a you can just drag up here to make a new panel tab shader editor and you could rotate the lighting so if I turn off transparency see the XGRI is being rotated just like that use the Z axis and you could change the lighting as you want um, I'm gonna go for that's too much uh, I like how this looks and to close this right here you want to uh, go up to the middle and then towards the right side a little bit and just pull like that and it will close it so this right here is the basic daytime lighting. All right, so here we are in Photoshop. Let's do some lighting with uh, with this character here. So with the background, I'm gonna right click. Uh, I'm going to double click actually. I'm just gonna hit OK. Right click, blending options, and from here let's go color overlay. Let's make this into a dark gray like that. All right, and I'm gonna make a new layer. Go to my brush tool. And from here, I'm going to select a color. I'm going to go orange. Increase the size. Opacity and flow is... Opacity is 31% and flow is 27. And from here, I just want to paint some uh, bit of lighting. So change the color to blue. Paint some blue over here. There we go. Let's 
setup something like this. And now we're gonna go to our, and we're just gonna adjustments. Let's go for exposure. We're gonna right click, go to create clipping mask, and we're just gonna turn the exposure down like that. And increase the offsets. And then the gamma correction. There we go. Something like this. All right, so now we're going to make a new layer and we're going to clip this into into the render as well. And we're gonna change the mode to linear dodge. We're gonna right click, go to blending options and we're gonna turn off transparency shapes layer. We're gonna hit okay. From here, we're gonna use our brush tool and we can start painting. So if we zoom in, start painting over here, as you can see, Increase the size, decrease the opacity. So painting something like, like this right here. All right. Lower this down and then start painting over here. There we go. Um, up here as well. And then let's go to orange right up here. Um, also, by the way, I got this idea from another uh, Roblox YouTuber. I forgot his name. But I'm pretty sure if you look it up, you could find it. All right, so this right here is the flat lighting. We're going to make a new layer. Clip it in, same thing. Uh, let's turn off transparency shapes layer. Let's go color dodge this time. And then use the color white. From here, we're just gonna find this edge. All right, this one. Now from here, we can turn the exposure down a little bit, add more adjustments, so color lookup. Um, I like the foggy night, so I'm going to use this like so. I'm going to copy this and make this one into overlay mode as you can see and uh, if you click on this white square you could use your brush tool to make the color into black and when you paint you can actually get rid of the effect like that so choose where you want to hide it um, so somebody like over here and uh, if you Make it into white, it will apply the effects more, so let's use that accordingly. Alright, right, so from here, I'm going to make a new layer, brush tool, and make this into blue. And apply some more uh, additional lighting towards the bottom. Just some very soft touches, like that. And then orange up top. Let's go overlay. Right over here. And then we got blue. We got some blue. Alright, so I think I am happy. Let's take the top layer. Let's hold shift. Click on the bottom one. Control G. Let's make a new layer. We're gonna go image. Let's go for apply image. 
damage over here said okay let's hide the group now let's go control j to make a copy of this layer let's go filter camera raw filter from here turn the texture turn the texture if you want a detailed look clarity And as you can see, here is our finished result. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you all next time.